Good morning, everyone. I'm back out on the trail, getting my walk in. I can't stand that. <laughs> okay, so anyway, uh, this is Dr. Tuesday. It's Tuesdays with Tuesday, and inviting you into my personal time with God. The first round I do by myself and bring my weight so I can do my arm work and my shoulder work and do some squats on the trail and things like that. But on the second time around, I invite you in. And so wanted to share with you a, a thought that was dropped in my spirit this morning. It's a song that we all know. What the world needs now is love, sweet love. It's the only thing that there's just too little of. And the composer, the writer and composer of that song, they, the lyrics say something like, um, we don't need more mountains, we don't need more meadows, we don't need no more, mo no more moon beams. But what the world needs is love. And so when we talk about that, I noticed in the second verse, there's a statement that says at the end, God, Lord, in case you didn't know, what the world needs more of is love. And I thought, well, certainly God knows that, <laughs> right? Because he is love. And because he's love, he wants us to manifest him everywhere that we go. And so what the world is facing right now, we're a loveless world. Love is demonstrated here and there, different places and different people. But consistently, love is not demonstrated. So that took me to 1 John chapter 3, where he says he has bestowed upon us this love that we might be called and could be called and are called the children of God. Bestowed. That word worked with me, y'all. It worked with me because one translation said it was given to us, this love to be called. But the Message Bible, I believe, says it was bestowed upon us. So what does that mean? That means that someone, and after the word bestows, no matter where you read it, it comes after that is always bestowed on or bestowed up on. So someone counted you worthy because of something you did to put something up on you. My God, my God. And so what did God put up on us? He put inheritance. He put kinmanship. He, could, he put relationship. He put love on us through the death of Jesus Christ. And the truth is you did nothing. I did nothing to deserve that. The only thing we did to receive, to be bestowed upon is our confession of faith and our belief in Jesus Christ. And so because of that, God bestowed upon us this thing called love that we are called the children of the Most High God. And so with everything that's going on in the world and in Minnesota and Louisiana and Chicago and in Indianapolis, right? In Michigan, Benton Harbor, St. Joe, the, the murders in the courtroom that happened yesterday were right there where I live or was raised and what we saw in Florida and we see in Detroit and Baltimore and cities all over this country is people who don't know how to love because it's really impossible to forgive if you do not have the love of God in your heart that has been bestowed. It is like the um, coat of many colors that Joseph received that was put up on him, the favor of God from the love of his father. My God, my God, you didn't get it. God put love upon you. So all that low self-esteem and doubting yourself and questioning if you should, if you should, maybe I'm doing too much, maybe I'm not doing enough. God loves you. God loves you and he has bestowed upon you his love, his grace, his mercy, his favor that you would be called his child. You, you, you right there. You're called his child. And so that's good news for you today. That's good news for you to be encouraged with today. You know, we are joint heirs with Christ, and that's cool because as a sibling, we get to share, right, in the inheritance. But because you are a child of God, you are an heir. My God, the earth is the Lord's. Hallelujah. 
the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Everything that dwells therein belongs to God and you're his child. So therefore you have access to it. And the only reason most of us don't have it is because we don't ask. We have not because we ask not. So I want you to be encouraged today. What has been bestowed upon you is this love. What has been placed on you, what has been mantled on you is the love of God. And God wants you to receive it today that you are called his child. You are called his child. And he said, if you love me, if you love me, you'll obey me. Go ahead and read all of uh, 1 John chapter 3. It's going to bless you. It really helps us to understand some of the things that are going on in our land and why it talks about Cain. Because Cain did not have the love of God in his heart that he was of evil. He's, the Bible says he was of evil. Okay? It's not that he just did evil. But he was of evil. Judas, of evil. Saul, of evil. People who have the opportunity to receive all that God has. His forgiveness, his love, and they reject it. And, and, and let me just say this about that song. The composer said that they originally took that song to Dionne Warwick. But she rejected it. She didn't want it. So we know that that song has been around for ages, right? And Dionne Warwick rejected that song. So they took it to someone else, and I don't remember their name. They recorded it, but the way we know that song is because of Diana Ross singing it. Like Dionne Warwick, many of us are introduced to the love of God that came through Jesus Christ, and we reject it. We don't want it. And so we miss out on all the glorious blessings. Dionne Warwick, in that song, missed out on all of the blessings years upon years that she would be attached to that song and Diane Diana Ross received the blessing of recording that song that years and years later we still remember Diana Ross singing it not even the original person that song it so I want to encourage you to receive the love of God today all of it everything that's attached to it and be encouraged God loves you have a great day it's Tuesdays with Tuesday